A recent report by American consulting firm A.T. Carney titled How Will Cultured Meat and Meat Alternatives Disrupt the Agricultural and Food Industry predicts that by about 2040, 60% of all meat consumption will not come from animals. Here's a graph showing their predictions. 35% of meat will be so-called cultured meat, that is, meat that is created through exponential cell growth in bioreactors. It involves extracting a cell from a living animal, feeding it with a media to proliferate it, and then structuring the resulting muscle and fat cells in a 3D scaffold to make it resemble real meat. Mmm, sounds tasty. The result is meat which is identical to conventional meat. While several prototypes have been tested, no commercial products are available as yet. 25% of meat will be the so-called novel vegan meats, the ones that you can buy today in your local supermarket. For example, Coles in Australia is now stocking the Beyond Burger, but its normal price is $12 for two small patties with a total weight of 227 grams. That's over $50 a kilogram. That alone has deterred me from buying it. I don't care how good it tastes, I'm not going to pay $12 for two little hamburgers that I have to cook myself. Plus, I've read a few reviews that said although it's tastes okay, it certainly does not taste like meat. Although it might be tempting for some vegans and vegetarians, it certainly doesn't offer a realistic alternative for die-hard carnivores. In the US, Burger King are now selling the Impossible Whopper in some of their stores which is made from the famous plant-based Impossible Burger, known for its realistic bleeding and sizzling. From all the reviews that I've read, it's really good. I believe the Impossible Whopper costs about $1 more than the traditional meat-based Whopper. I guess it's only a matter of time before it comes to the Australian market as well. By 2040, the report predicts that 40% of meat will still be sourced from animals. Old habits die hard. I presume many meat eaters watching this would prefer real meat to anything that can be produced in a factory or a lab. And I can understand that. Whole foods are always better than processed foods, right? And let's face it, most of these veggie patties would certainly be classified as processed foods. In the end, I think the market will determine what we eat. If there comes a day where fake meat tastes identical to real meat, and it becomes cheaper than real meat, then ultimately, market forces will win and people will end up eating it. Sure, there will still be some die-hard carnivores who will pay premium price for the animal alternative, but if real meat becomes too expensive, who will really be able to afford it? For me, I'm happy to continue eating my chickpea curries and mushroom salads. I've got no real interest in spending top dollar on veggie burgers that bleed or taste like real meat. It just doesn't interest me that much. How about yourself? Would you be tempted to eat bleeding veggie burgers that sizzle when they cook? Or does the only true burger come from a cow? <laughs>